Okay, Simon, so uh, how was your 10-day cleanse experience? Transformative. Um, I became my own lab rat, my own guinea pig, which I, I often like doing with things. So this one was a, a big one for me. The most I've ever gone is I think four days on a juice cleanse. So it was actually easier than I thought. Um, because I could eat an apple in the morning and snack on a carrot and an avocado throughout the day and have that, you know, shake and how it's scheduled to where every two hours you're putting something in your body. I never really suffered from hunger pains. Uh, it was more mental. The smells were exaggerated for food. I really wanted, I had cravings. First three days were tough, I won't lie. By the end of it, I was sleeping good, sleeping better and better each night. I think by the end, I was almost at eight hours of sleep a night, which is actually more than I normally sleep. So it was interesting to see how quick my body got acclimated to this um, diet of raw vegan, I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, no sugar, no bread, no meat. It's a trip what your body goes through. I noticed I just kind of tightened up. I noticed my eyes getting whiter. I noticed my skin looking better. Um, and I kind of felt overall better. Um, Energy-wise, I, you know, I, I was told by you to, to just rest and hydrate. So I didn't work out or anything. So I really, it was nice for me to just take a 10-day break because I'm often running around and working out and go, go, go. So I forced myself to rest. So my body feels really rested. Um, I do confess last night, day 10, at the very end, I went out and had a couple beers and a piece of pizza, but I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. I pretty much made it to like exactly 10 days, really, if I do the math. It was just the night of that I started till the, the end of the night, if you think about when I stopped eating anyway. So it was exactly 10 full days, although I probably should have went to bed not done that, but I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. Um, and I'm gonna do it again. I'd like to do this every year. I'd like to do even maybe some shorter ones throughout the year, maybe three day cleanse here and there, whatever you recommend. And I want to uh, now make my diet, you know, I'm not gonna go raw vegan. I still wanna have me some grass fed steak here and there, you know, quality meat in smaller portions reversing the plate as opposed to a huge steak with just a little side salad. I'd like to have more greens and just a little bit of good quality meat. And I want to um, just start also having the, those protein shakes and the, uh, the supplements and just having those in my day-to-day -day diet mixed in with some healthy eating. Um, and that's about it. And how is your experience working with Certified Health Nut? Oh, well, you know, you're my boy, so that was a, I had a blast. We, we, we shot some funny videos. We had some laughs along the way. Uh, we made it fun, um, which I think is the whole point. Like, people take this shit too seriously, which you should take your health seriously, but I think people tend to beat themselves up a lot, and it's just like, whatever, you know, just, just do it. Uh, and we had fun along the way, and we're going to do this more, and I look forward to now... This is really honestly going to change the way I put everything in my face. Um, not including some cute women. <laughs> so you'll be more conscious of what goes in the pie hole. Hyper cognizant of pie hole entry. <laughs> nice. What's your final message to people out in cyberspace? Uh, final message to people in cyberspace is um, sort of your motto, which is I think people get so caught up in... Uh, politics and religion and the social issues, but if we really bring it back to the bare essentials of human nature, what is more important than diet and sleep and health? And once we can get there, then I think everyone would operate at a better level and communicate and connect better. Um, and I feel like that is more important than any of that other bullshit. So if you're, and I think here in America and in the West, we we have our diet isn't right you know I've traveled the world and I've seen how it is in other places and we need to wake up and start eating better and having more plant-based organic non-gmo foods going in our pie hole quality meat supporting local farmers staying in the peripheral at your supermarket and avoiding the mass-produced shit food in the middle and just sticking to your organic vegetables and some grass-fed meat and it could start there. Let, let's just start there. Let's eat good, sleep good, hydrate, and I think the world will be a better place. But that's just my humble opinion. What do I know? Dirt nasty. And clean Simon. nasty. Clean nasty. Simon.
Signing out. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, thank you.